The Natasha Simona Sequence was first to bring you R. Kelly. This call is from a federal prison. Speaking from behind bars. This call is from Robert Kelly. He discussed the baby rumors. Hell no. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. She didn't have a child. His alleged new music. I didn't put out no damn album. And if right. I would have put out an album, it wouldn't be called I Admit It. Now he speaks about surviving R. Kelly. The final chapter. A, a, a TV show to destroy black men like this. I don't know. This Wednesday, January 4th at 9 p.m. Eastern. R. Kelly. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. This is my life. This is my life we're dealing with. Follow on Instagram at I am Natasha Simona. Shout out to the room. Shout out to everybody in here. Shout out to everybody. I just need to make sure that my back office communications can see me. Uh, I just also. Okay. Yes. I, I see. I see one text. I see you. Um, I'm waiting for my executive producer to. Okay. All right. Let's let's uh, let's just act normal. Dare EP, um, I'm waiting for your confirmation here. Um, if you can hear me, I just want to know. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me so I can talk to you? Come on, shout out to uh, my MAC lip gloss right now, serving as my mic check. Um, for anybody who's like, what's that? It's called Obey. Oh, appropriately so, Oh Baby. That's what's on my lips, Oh Baby. Hey, everybody, how we sounding? We're all loud and clear. Good, because I want to talk to you all and I want no interruptions. Now, I'm going to play um, some more of this conversation that my team did get um, with R. Kelly. And uh, let's just let's just get right into it. Shout out to the room, everybody. Shout out to the room. (sighs) Let's do this. Let me drink some water. First of all, I should have had some flat water. This is going to make me burp. Um, let's get this, let's get this, uh, media up here. All right, here we go, everybody. Pay attention, tag whomever you need to tag, because I'm only going to play this once. Speaking now. Yo, I hope I'm not disturbing you, man. No, I'm good. Hold on a second. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let's run that back. Here we go. Speaking now. Yo, I hope I'm not disturbing you, man. No, I'm good, man. Okay. So, anyway, I'm calling back because, see, we may get locked down after all of this. I mean, t- tomorrow you just never know. Right. Um, but but anyway, like I was saying, took place, man, and that was like uh, in 2019 when I was first arrested. All of these phone calls and stuff were being uh, recorded and um, all of the um, emails, my emails were being stolen at that time and accessed, and um, and it was being used with with people, of course, names I can't say um, in the case, but it was definitely used with with my my girlfriends that I um, happened to stay with at the time. But the point is, is nobody was arrested. That was four years ago. Nobody was arrested. Uh, BOP officer, she was just allowed to conveniently retire okay she was not fired wasn't arrested and uh and still to this day uh, they refer to her as officer a we don't even know who this person is who uh who did it because she's under an alias name called um name officer a but however it has affected my case and if and it's like i say if it can happen to me it can happen to anybody nobody's safe in the in the system because um these these are real crimes that was committed, and they had real effects. Right. The Natasha Simone sequence. That lose you? No, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. You said and, it had. Uh, real- um, I'm sorry. What you say? You said no. You're saying you had it had it had real effects. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. They had real effects because. Here's the deal, Rick. Let's just keep it 100, man. You know, if they're supposed to be witnesses in any case. Like mm-hmm. This is a very high-profile pro- case. There is no way in hell that uh, at this level. Okay. Um, give me one second. Something just happened. Hold on, everybody. Just act normal.
Just hold on one second. I'm sorry. <sighs> Dear EP, can you please send me, um, please resend that file. I don't know what just happened to it. Okay, everybody, hold tight. Now. Hold on a second. Just give me one second, everybody. Give me one second. Uh, dear EP, can you please send me that file again? Something is going on here. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, hold on one second. We're going to uh, we're gonna re we're gonna re we're gonna run that back. Uh, you know, technology is technology, and things happen. So just give me one second, and um, we're gonna run that back. In the meantime, make sure you tag a friend and tag a friend. And uh, I'm not sure what in the devil just happened here. Just to type. I got the third one. Please. I, I got the, the other one. Just please resend that particular one. Thank you so much. Shout out to the room. Wherever that is. Okay, here we go. Everything is all off. Okay, here we go. Everybody act normal and let's get this right. Uh, I'm not sure. Hold on a second. See? Interference. Let's bring this back. now yo i hope i'm not disturbing hold on everybody let's uh we love technology shout out to um fail technology some from time to time i'm gonna run it back from the beginning um just so that we're not interrupted here and um i'm gonna give this to you straight as i can okay I don't know. This uh, this file is interesting. Um, dear back office, this file is quite interesting, and I'm not sure why. Um, so we're going to do, I'm going to do the best that I can to make sure that this plays straight and proper. Okay. Hold on a second, everybody. now yo i hope i'm not disturbing you man no i'm good man okay so anyway i'm calling back because see we may get locked down um, but but anyway like i was saying you hear me uh-huh yeah all of these things took place man and that was like uh in 2019 when i was first arrested all of these phone calls and stuff were being uh, recorded and um, all of the um, emails, my emails were being stolen at that time and accessed, and um, and it was being used with with people, of course, names I can't say um, in the case, but it was definitely used with with my my girlfriends that I um, happened to stay with at the time. But the point is, is nobody was arrested. That was four years ago. Nobody was arrested. Uh, BOP officer, she was just allowed to conveniently retire okay she was not fired wasn't arrested and um and still to this day uh, they refer to her as officer a we don't even know who this person is who uh who did it because she's under an alias name called um name officer a but however it has affected my case and if and if like i say if it can happen to me it can happen to anybody nobody is safe in the in the system because um these these are real crimes that was committed, and they had real effects. Right. That lose you. No, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. You said it had. Real uh, um, I'm sorry. What'd you say? You said no. You said you had it had it had real effects. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. They had real effects because. 
here's the deal, Rick. <laughs> Let's just keep it 100, man. <laughs> you know, they're supposed to be witnesses in any case. Like, mm-hmm. This is a very high-profile pro- case. There is no way in hell that uh, at this level, at this uh, at, at this level of this case, that any witnesses under any circumstances should be on any stand bad, right? Um, because of other things, not mad because of something true, but mad because of some emails they read uh, between me and another girl. Mm-hmm. They're not supposed to be mad at. at phone calls they heard between me and another girl. They're not supposed to be mad at the fact that you tell your lawyer on a phone, uh, I'm not leaving this person for that person. They're not supposed to be mad for those reasons, okay? They're supposed to be mad things that they, uh, that happened. You know, not because they're jealous or not because they're scorned or, mm-hmm. or anything like that. I see because what you're that saying. Because that could cause anybody to get up on a stand and say anything about anybody. Right. And I wish I could explain it better, but there's no better way to explain something. But just explain it with in, where you have common sense after you explain something. Anybody with common sense would say, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's real. And, and that's not fair if that happened. This call is from a federal prison. It's not fair because it did happen. Right. I didn't do a search warrant. I don't know the first thing to do to do a search warrant. A federal agent did a search warrant on a BOP's office, officer's computer. And if you find criminal activity, what does criminal mean? That means you're doing things illegal. Right. Okay. That's why it's called criminal activity. And if they found, which they did indeed find criminal activity on a computer, showing that <clears throat> all of my phone calls and emails were indeed uh, stolen, not only once, not only twice, but 153 times. Come on, Rick, man. Right. Come on, man. Okay, you can think whatever you want to think about R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. You can say what you want to say about R. Kelly. You can have your opinion, you can have your feeling, even though you don't know me and never met me. But facts are facts. Real crime is real crime. Right. This lady was never arrested. This happened four years ago. In my in my opinion, and in my fact, I should have never even gone to a trial as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Because this happened in 2019. There was the search warrant done in 2019, 2020. Okay, by 21, it's just a computer. That search warrant and all of that information has come to some kind of conclusion. Right. Okay. I got convicted. I got um, convicted and found guilty in 2021. So somebody already knew from 2019 all the way to 2021 that these things had happened to me, Mm -hmm. that these crimes was committed against me. There with the witness on the stand saying all these horrible, horrible things because they're mad because of what somebody showed them, which was some illegal contraband. And if that can happen to me, nobody's safe. The, 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 it, it's, it's just nobody's safe. The system is compromised. Right. And it's not supposed to go that way. Could you could you say, if if you had to put it in put it into to your own words, just straight up, like wh- what is this? What is this really about? What is this really about? Why is all of this stuff happening? You know what, man. I swear to God, I pray to God you understand what I'm about to say. I can't say what it's really about okay. right now because to say what it's really about is to go into the actual case and to go into the actual thing. But let me tell you something, bro. If you really step back from the tree, if anybody was to step back from this tree, they would see a whole forest of truth and conspiracies and jealous people that I fired going back 30 years who was stealing and taking my money because of my ability, my disability, as far as reading, writing, spelling, and things like that. I had a lot of people. I had people that would tell me one person was stealing millions of dollars from me, and then I hired that person. And then that person would find out about my disability, and they would steal money. And yes, I've had relationships going back. 
some I remember and some I don't even remember because it's 30 years of it. Right. Some of them could have, could have been I was just in a city and went to a club and met somebody. Some of them were serious relationships. However, I couldn't give people what they wanted, which was one-on-one relationship. They wanted things for me that I couldn't give them because I was on that road. Right. But the bottom line is, man, I can only give you a little bit of that, but I can tell you this. 30 years of breakups, 30 years of firing people that were stealing from you, people that can't be in your circle no more, people can't shine with you no more, leaving a, a 30-year road of nothing but haters and people that's, that's mad because, and then, and, and they want to get back at you. And then here come a, a thing like Lifetime knocking on the door. People can jump at the opportunity to say, yeah, I want to get back with, at this person. You know, and I tell you, when you're paid to come on some, a show and do something, that means it's a job. Because you're paid to do it. Yeah. Who allows a, a, a TV? I, I absolutely wish I had more time, but I tell you, man, um, they destroyed my life, leaving messes with my kids from being able to have a career or be successful if they want to because of people destroying your name. How are they doing? How's your relationship with them? I have I have children that are adults. I have a a, a daughter who's thirteen. I'm my, right here next I, to I her tell now. You, man, mm-hmm. my, my children love me, and I love my children. I love mm-hmm. them to death. Would do anything for them. I love them. They love me. But we're in a world of social media now. It ain't right. like back then, back in the days when you were just all about your mom. Your dad. this call is from a federal prison. We're, 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 we're not in those days. This is the social media world, unfortunately. Right. So, you know, th- these kind of things can pause your kids. These things can act, make your kids wonder. But my kids are not stupid at the end of the day. I know my kids love me, and I know my kids know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I can feel it in my spirit. I know it in my heart. You know, and God has shown it to me that my kids are still there for me. I get messages from my kids all the time, but... I just want people to know you, it's, it's just like an Olympic player. If a person wants a, won a gold medal mm-hmm. and you found out two or three years ago that they cheated because they was on steroids and all this, right. they're going to want that gold medal back. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the person that was next up runner wins the, wins the race or whatever it was. Well, okay. I'm convicted. Yes. I'm staring down a barrel. The Natasha Simona sequence. Okay. 30 years of my life. So, mm-hmm. and not even to mention, I ain't even been sentenced. But this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm staring down, that barrel. And when you know that people cheated, people did what they did, they stole your information 153 times. That's 153 counts. And they did it from Wisconsin, which is, I don't even know how they can do that, but it's been done. It right. happened. It's been shared with a blogger. You have to ask yourself, how the hell do a BOP officer know a blogger? Right. You have to ask yourself, why do you even need to do that? If you got this man dead to the right, why do you even need to steal his records 153 times? His phone calls, his emails, his call logs. Right. I've had money, that $28,000 taken from me. It left me $500 on my books. Wow. I don't even know what that's all for. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why all these things are happening. Okay. But Lucifer, Lucifer himself, ain't as bad as these people trying to, what they putting on me. Right. So I feel there's somebody behind doors pulling strings. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. I know I'm owed millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. I know a whole lot of things. So, but I can't name names right now. I can't give you what you what you might want. I, but I can tell you a BOP officer did what they did. Right. No, and you I have believe, to figure that out. No, no, and, and and it's not it's not really about what I want. It's it's really about what you want to share. Because I'm not no, I'm not when looking I say what you uh, want. Uh, I mean people in gotcha. general. I'm not okay. talking just to you. I'm saying well, I can't gotcha. give people what they want. Right. Because everybody wants all these answers. Everybody wants me to say, oh, well, what was your mistakes? No, this ain't about Robert Kelly. This is about the justice system. Mm-hmm. That's failed me and anybody else if they would allow a disciplinary hearing officer to steal my information and give it to people. Just hold a goddamn stand. Right. This is about the justice system, brother. This ain't about Robert Kelly. 
It's about do your job and do it right. right. And then let's see what the verdict be. Mm-hmm. But don't cheat. Don't fucking cheat. Because this is my life. Yeah. This is my life we're dealing with. Mm-hmm. So don't cheat. Do your job, and then we may get a better verdict. Right. Or even if we don't, guess what? You did your job, but don't cheat. Don't steal my information and give it to my girl. Right. If, if and make her jealous or make her mad at me because mm-hmm. you need her to be mad at me. Okay. <clears throat> well, that is that concludes that portion of the conversation. Um and it's a lot. There's a lot there's a lot to unpack there. Um that's essentially um I went on on Tosh Clay case platform. We talked about this BOP officer obtaining um the emails and you know she I, I, I don't I don't know what angle, but essentially the BOP officers, they all look, you know, when there's a celebrity that's locked up, they all look, they all do these things. Um, in this particular case, uh, from from all of the information that I have, um, this particular BOP officer uh, was not on the case. This BOP officer was actually in Wisconsin and um, illegally accessed the files and then shared them with Tasha Kay. I did ask her. Uh, for those of you that did not uh, see this conversation that I had with Tasha Kay, it is it is on uh, her platform over there on YouTube. Um, I did ask her if if uh, she bought this information, um, if there was barter, how was this um, handled? How was this how was this exchange handled? She did let me know that the BOP officer gave it to her. She said many, many, many people gave her confidential information um, to which she said she would not expose. Um, this is what she said. It's it's out there for you all to see. Um, for those of you that are subscribed to her, you can see the unedited version. I don't, you know, I would have to talk to my team to see what is the difference between what's edited versus what's unedited. Um, she has her own app. And that's where she released the information yesterday. We were we were actually live there, so you all can you know kind of do uh, whatever whatever research you want. Um, she did say that her father was uh, a BOP officer, and and this is just the culture of the BOP. I can't speak on it. I am not I am not a BOP officer. I don't work for the prison system at all, so I don't know. But to from what she said to me, this is the culture of what happens. Um, they all they all access these files and they all share it amongst people um she said there was a lot of people who did access her um she uh, excuse me there was a lot of people who did access r kelly's files and shared it with her um i don't i can't speak more on that that's for her to talk about if she so chooses um but we did talk about that uh tasha k does not know what i have because none of the information that i have was shared with her at any point outside of what we talked about um i'm gonna play for you the rest of this audio um and uh we can move forward from there i'm pulling that up for you now shout out to um shout out to the room uh, hold on a second. Shout out to everybody that's in here. Uh, we are playing the rest of this conversation that we had with uh, our Kelly. And um, here we go. Uh, we're speaking of Robert Kelly. And uh, you have been accused. You have been charged with a lot of things. What is it you think you deserve now? I deserve as a human being. Right. Constitution. I deserve due process. I deserve fairness. Right. Which is all I've asked for. But what I said about that BOP disciplinary hearing officer, and for those who don't know what that is, that is a judge. Mm-hmm. That's like a judge in, within the Bureau of Prisons. Right. You know. You know. And, and because of her, I didn't get due process. I didn't get a fair chance. You can't show my my private phone calls and emails to another young lady and then that lady gets mad at me and all of a sudden wants to flip on me and end up on a stand, man. Mm-hmm. So you can't do that. 
Right. And on top of that, you can't do it and get away with it. Mm -hmm. You can't do it and just conveniently retire. Because I feel like if she wouldn't have retired, then it would have been public record. And if it's public, then it's exposed. And I'm not going to go any further than that. But I'm just telling you, man. Right. It's common sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Than to be respected. I hear if that. you don't like my music, okay. If you don't like R. Kelly, okay. If you hate R. Kelly, okay. But we're talking about the justice system. We're talking about being fair to a human being, not just R. Kelly, any human being, whether it's you, Rick, whether it's anybody that's listening. And that's what I'm doing, bro. I'm just I'm just really listening to what you have to say and I'm 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 sharing it with people. Well, I don't I don't expect anybody to believe me or anything, man. Right. I just expect that everybody use their own common sense. Right. And you can look up whatever you want to look up. You can look up whether it was a search warrant done on R. Kelly or on a BOP officer. You can look it all up. It's in the public anyway. It's out mm -hmm. there. But I just didn't want it to get lost in a tsunami of other rumors. Right. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to stand out like a sore thumb. Because it's not just about R. Kelly due process. It's about the next man. Even my son, if he wanted to become a the next artist or a football player or, or whatever he wanted to become. Yeah. I don't want him to get caught up in a web like this mm -hmm. where he didn't get his due process. He didn't get a fair shot at fighting his case fair. Right. People still in his records and doing what this BOP officer did and mm -hmm. didn't even get arrested, didn't get charged, didn't get no suffer, no kind of consequences because of it. It says the law, nobody's above the law. That's right. you, me, and even the people who wrote it. That's right. Yeah. Those are crimes, real crimes that have real effects on real people's lives. That's right. Yeah. Hey man, I appreciate this man. Appreciate you for, I guess, listening because I don't, I don't get the vent. So no, it's all good, brother. It. We we listen over here, brother. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a father, just like you. So, and, and just so people know, this is me, and so you know this is me. I'm standing here looking in the mirror, saying damn to myself. I should have known the day would come. She would find somebody else. La da 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 da. La la da da. So I just want to put my signature on that because people be out there saying that ain't Emar Kelly talking. <laughs> right. Listen, <laughs> you got a birthday coming yeah. up, man. You got another gray hair coming soon. Yeah. No, I got about five old gray gray hairs coming <laughs> in one day. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Right, Happy man. New Year to you and your family too, brother. Okay, brother. All Love right. you, man. Take care. No, you want. Happy. All right. And that's that. Um, there goes that whole conversation, everybody. You heard it here. Um, listen, I, I am the outlet that is putting a story out there. Um, everybody is entitled to their own opinions on this you know i'm not here to sway you from one side to the other side your your opinion on who he is today who he was this whole case and this whole trial belongs to you respectfully i um i'm not here to to change your minds and i'm not here to share my opinion on it my opinion does not matter um this is what it is this is what he wanted to call and share with us and uh from that i'm sharing it with you all so you know all the confusion and speculation and you know you're wondering why you know why he chose me versus a bigger platform so on and so forth it does, uh, honestly it doesn't matter the word is going to get out the word is going to circulate and um it's going to do what it needs to do uh anything else uh to my team in the back Okay, um, I'm getting some quick communication uh, from my team really quickly. So everybody sit tight. Uh, hold on one second. Let me see something. Okay, everybody. Uh, let's, um, let's do something. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Please let everybody know who you are before we even get started. Yes, ma'am. I'm Timothy Savage. I'm Jocelyn Savage's father. 
Okay. Um, you did send myself and my team a couple messages, um, and we received that. So I just want to know what can I do for you, and uh, let's talk really quickly here. Yes, ma'am. No worries. Thank you for having me on your show. Uh, I just want to share some things with you that uh, Tasha K, and hopefully I can talk freely about this because I know you have a different show and a different audience and a whole new different vibe. So hopefully I can talk freely on this. Um, Respe respectfully, if we could just keep it, you know, within the lines of, yes, you know, everything in which we're talking about. Definitely. I don't want this to turn into any, you know, gossip because I can't, I, I can't and, and I won't um, go back and forth on anything gossipy. Uh, no worries. Okay. Um, okay. My thing is I always try to reach out to Miss Tasha K when um, the Angelo Clary had made a statement. And when he put a statement out, uh, I got a brief uh, email that saying that they was trying to do a smear campaign, Tasha K and Angelo Clary. So I, Tasha K had called me, just so happened she had called me the same day. So I went to Miss Tasha K house. She said she had some information about my daughter, which once she told me she didn't have the information, I said, why you call me and my wife over to your house? You don't have no information for me. This is odd. So I said, look, let me tell you something. Let's be real, very upfront and prank here. I said, I hear you're trying to do a smear campaign. Here are the facts. I said, I don't know what you got going on with Angelo Claire, but the truth is I never sold my door. I had no knowledge of whatever he had going on in his family. But rest assured, here are the facts. Here's the email. So I sent her the email in 2019. Don't you know she still did the smear campaign because she believed a lie. And that's just a point of fact. And I know you've been in your show. But that's what's going on. And I want to just state that. I know you don't have that much time on your show for you to end your show, and I understand, but maybe we can come on on a later date and time and talk about this more in depth. Um, you could definitely, you know, if, if there's anything more that you do want to share here, respectfully, again, you know, we're here on this topic right now. This is not something that I want to continue drawing out um, without I facts. You know, I, I can only and will only speak to um, court documents and information directly from um, the sources that are uh, related to this case, uh, respectfully. You know, I understand, you know, I'm a parent. I, I, I have two right. little children, but parents alike. Absolutely. And um, as a parent, you know, I can understand and respect all parents involved and um, whatever their opinions are and, and their involvement. So right. um, I, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm questioning you about anything regarding your daughter or somebody else's daughter. Um, right. And, and so if, you know, if you want to speak to what you heard between the conversation between Tasha K and I, I, I'm, you know, no, definitely. Now, I, I did not hear y'all conversation. So I don't want to speak on something I did not hear. Okay. My daughter, uh, Jalen, had told me that you had she had spoke you had spoke to Tasha K. So I didn't hear that conversation. I come on here just to clear the facts. If I heard the conversation, I would speak on it. See, I don't speak on people only because it's hearsay. It's got to be facts with me. And so that's the reason why I shot out the email to you, which are facts. That's her email. That's the date it was sent. And she still tried to do a smear campaign. She knew that it wasn't true. Those are facts, period. Because emails don't lie. It has a date on there. It has her Um, we're losing audio. Hold, hold on one second. Oh, one second. Okay. Okay. We, we got you back now. Yeah. So we can hear you. My thing is not to, if you ever know me or my attorney, Gerald Griggs, we never put something out that was going to be something of false. We always want to state the facts. And that's a fact. The email was sent to a fact. I was over her house a fact. And all of a sudden now, she wants to still stick with these lies. I just want an apology for my wife. The things that she said about my wife that are not so true. The things that she said that we sold our daughter that are not so true. I just want the facts to be out. And she can't produce those facts. And that's the reason why I'm here today. Now, have you ever spoken directly to her on her platform? Or have you, you know, I know you're, you're here with me right now, but have you... Have you gotten this statement in which you're presenting here? Has this ever been presented elsewhere? Um, and has she contacted you since or? No, ma'am. I, I wanted to reach out to her and I have reached out to the phone number that she have on file to sit down and do a sit down with her so we can have this one on one dialogue, not back and forth on the Internet. If it wants to be on your show, I'll be on your show with her. I sit right across from her. 
and no violence, no nothing like that. It's just stating facts because at the end of the day, these things must come out. The lies must stop. The truth must come out. And you must have facts. Without facts, you have nothing. And that's the reason why I want to come and confront her on someone's show. Maybe it can be your show, but the facts need to be brought to light, period. Okay. I do just want to let you know that there's, I, I, I'm just an outlet. I'm, I'm a vessel here. Um, no worries. And I, you know, I, I don't have any, any tools to mend any relationships oh, here. No, I'm um, mending relationship. I apologize for that. That's, there's no mending. It's just, you know, I'm tired of somebody that's, that's speaking on my family and it's not true. You know, if you're going to speak on somebody, speak on the truth. Don't sit there and keep carrying on a lie because you have no boundaries there. You know, that, like she said, when I filed, you can go to Gwinnett County. When I filed a criminal court case against her, against her my lawyer asked me to drop it because he said, you have more important things to do than worry about Tasha Kate. You need to move forward and worry about Jocelyn. And I moved forward. But this lady keep continuously trying to bash me and my family. I don't understand. I never said anything negative about this lady. She wants to keep up mess. And I would like to stop the mess, period. If you ain't got no facts, stop speaking opinions. Bring the facts. It's simple. I'm a man of facts. I'm a man of not opinions. That's the reason why I sent out the email to you. I sent it to you so you can see that that's her, that's her email. It's nothing uh, opinionated about that. Those are something that hit her and Angelo Clary, somebody in their camp, came and said, this is not right that you want to speak this on the savages. You're trying to destroy this man underneath your... You're trying to destroy me, something I have no knowledge of, because you hate me as a person. That's her and Angelo Claire. They hate me as a person. Why would you hate on somebody as a person? I never did anything to... Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. My phone went dead. Uh, I never did anything to harm Mr. Claire or Tasha K. Never. I just want an apology that you lied, that you made up something, period. And it wasn't true. That's all I asked for. And okay. so I know you had a conversation with her, but I don't know the, the, the length of the conversation. But what I come to say is this. Tasha K, if you want to be on this young lady's show with me, I'm fine with it. But speak your facts. Don't get high behind your show and high behind this and say what you got and you ain't got. Don't get behind this and say, uh, my wife slept with Robert Sylvester Kelly. You have no facts. Imagine somebody come to you and tell you that your husband slept with so-and-so, so-and-so, or Robert Sylvester Keller. With, the, with no facts now, just from hearsay, from another man just giving you hearsay. I produced facts. I gave you an email, sent you an email that's stating what they was trying to do do a smear campaign on me and my family. Those are facts, because an email was sent. And she still did the email. She still did the smear campaign because she believed in Angelo Clare. And then she turned around. These are facts now. The facts that she went ahead and said, Angelo, you the one gave me the information. So you listened to someone do, who did not have facts, who didn't have nothing in black and white. You said my wife slept with R. Kelly, but you had no facts. It was just an opinion because you went off somebody else's opinion. How can you have a show and you going off opinions? It doesn't make sense to me. Only thing I want from Tasha K is to say, Mr. Savage, I'm sorry. I should have not said that. It's simple. A big grown adult, a grown man should be able to say that. I say it all the time. That don't make me less of a person. That makes me a man. And that makes her a woman. She needs to step up to the plate and apologize to my wife. Okay. Um, thank you for um, yes, coming up. And, and you know, I, again, you did reach out to us and I did get the, um, the green light to bring you on. And so yes, you, you got your your word out there and I you know what, what whatever is necessary um, to to you your family and and what you are looking for I do uh, I do hope you get it appropriately um, I and I got and it I, right here off your show ma'am thank you so much okay I appreciate you for allowing me to come on your show absolutely thank you so much and um, have a good night thank you so much um, Tim you Savage too. thank you thank you okay oh. Okay.
I think we're done here. All right, everybody, that's the show. Thank you so much, everybody who joined in tonight. Um, that concludes uh, the conversation. Um, that concludes the the, com the conversation here uh, with R. Kelly. I know tonight um, I talked a little bit about Tasha Kay, uh, my conversation that I had with her over there. If you're interested in seeing that, please go over to her YouTube platform. I'm not sure if we're going to air it on my platform at all. I'm just saying I, I don't know. But it is available for... Um, you to watch right now live on Tasha K's platform over on YouTube and also if you are a subscriber to hers um, uh, on her personal um, on her personal app so again shout out to Tasha K uh, I also want to thank um, everybody in here who sat and listened to the conversation um, with R. Kelly we did break that up it was a 45 minute conversation so you definitely can go back and uh, listen to um, to it, it's an entirety. Um, it was 45 minutes broken up into many different parts. Like I've said many different times, I want to thank my entire team for holding me down. And I definitely want to, um, I definitely want to, uh, I, kn I know, uh, Timothy Savage came on last minute to, um, speak on the Tasha K situation. So, you know, we want to say thank you to him. Um, and that's that. That's that. Okay, everybody. Uh, that's the show.